Uh, awesome song. Oh, this is my song. This is my um. When I was younger, this was my theme song before I play like important games. Like when I played the um, final round of the U.S. Championship in 2000 and um, in 2004, it was 2004. It was called 2005. Uh, this was my song before the last couple of rounds. Like I would just I would turn on my um, my i my iPod and um, and this was my song. All right, so those of you who are wondering what the Frankenstein Dracula is, I will just create an analysis board to show you guys. Um, the Frankenstein Dracula is this opening with e4, e5, knight to c3, black plays knight to f6, bishop c4, knight takes e4, white goes queen f3, uh, or sorry, white goes, uh, sorry, no, white goes queen h5, knight d6, bishop b3, uh, black goes knight d6 to guard the pawn in the center, white plays knight to b5 here, uh, black plays pawn to g6, white goes queen to f3, again, trying to keep this checkmating pattern on f7 alive black plays f5 white goes queen d5 again trying to create the same checkmating pattern black goes queen e7 knight takes c7 king d8 knight eight b6 and the game will start here on move 10 at this point after b6 very very sharp position white is temporarily up a rook but black has a lot of quick development with bishop b7 knight d4 bishop g7 and rook e8 as well it's a very very sharp position very very complicated okay so let's start okay so i'm going to play black in the first game um what brand i'll um I'll, I'll be getting pfizer's pfizer what is my opinion on topolov great chess player the queen f3 is a move trying to remember if bishop b7 is right or knight d4 is right i think this must be right It's going to be at least five years before some of the poor remote countries get vaccines. Maybe, maybe. I mean, I don't think anyone knows. Uh, how are your headphones good? Do you have any issues with them? No, my headphones actually have worked pretty well. I'm pretty happy with them so far. I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go here to try to attack. He goes knight f3, so I'm gonna take and go e4. I guess he has queen e2. Maybe queen g5, g2 is better. Am I playing in St. Louis this year? Yes, I will be playing uh, some tournaments in St. Louis. Does Maurice know you use his woohoo? I'm not sure. Maurice might be aware now. I'm not sure. Thank you, DFED, for the six months. I saw Maurice was streaming yesterday, which was really quite nice. Um, I think I think he was streaming last night, if I remember correctly. So it was pretty, uh, it was pretty cool. I assume I play e3 and just keep attacking. I mean, this looks really bad for White. Now the Queen holds both the both the checks, and I assume that I'm getting really fast development. And my opponent has a bishop and a king that are underdeveloped here, so I'm probably winning. Will there be a blitz tournament? I can't find any info. There will be, um, I, I don't know exactly what's happening. Uh, I guess I go here. I also thought I had queen h4 maybe, but I'm not sure. Will I do IRL streams in the future? Potentially. But I mean, if I do IRL streams, it's probably gonna be unrelated to chess. Let's go rookie eight. Try to put maximum pressure here towards the white king. um not always no do i think gm within two years is possible for tawny uh he's 10 years old i would say that's the, if that's it's possible i would say it's unlikely i would say i mean if he keeps up the current progression a good age is about 14 probably about like i think he's 10 years old although he could i, I don't know 10 how close he is to 11 or what his age is um someone in chat can tell me at least uh, i'm gonna go d3 again Yeah, he's 10 years old, but is he is he like did he just turn 10 or is he closer to like is he closer to 11? Like what's the um what's his what's the uh age? How, how old is he? He's 10 years in like a couple months. Okay, so he's close to 11. Okay. So uh he's like 10 years 9 months roughly. I would say th 3 years roughly. I mean would would I mean again, I think it's it, that's probably on the very fast end, but it definitely is possible. 
Maybe to Zeki, but I, for the two months. But two years, I think it's not 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 realistic. Okay, now here I'm gonna go long. <clears throat> uh, Kari, yeah, is Sergey still the youngest GM? I thought Pragnananta, or I felt like one of the Indians maybe broke that record. Maybe he, Pragnananta or Gukesh. I don't know which one, but I thought one of them had broken the record actually for youngest uh, youngest GM. Okay, he goes King C7. I guess I can just take and take maybe. He can't take back because I take the queen. <clears throat> Wait, kids born in 2010 or 10 by now? I'm I'm old. It's pretty nuts, isn't it? <laughs> pretty, pretty nuts. Have I ever had a job other than being a chess player? Um, not a paying job. I've done community service in the past, like for Habitat for Humanity, but um, I've never had I've never had like a a paying job. Um, let's go check. You can play H five and Bishop F seven, maybe. Or A3, Bishop A2 as well. I think I'll just play Queen G5, maybe takes, maybe F4. Levy made a video analyzing um, Tani's missed win against you in St. Louis. Yeah, I remember that game because that was like, that was just a fun casual blitz game. And I think there was like, yeah, there was like one move where he had something and he missed it. Thank you to Scuba's Tavzi for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Scuba's Tavi. Let's just take the pawn, move the rook back. Here to hit the bishop, I can take the bishop next move. Hey, first sub on Twitch. Thank you so much to Scuba Stavi. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm going to go here. He might actually play my line against me. Let's see if he plays my line against me. So so yeah, this this uh, this was uh, this was my my song that I would always listen to to get pumped up before for the game. I've had a different song in the last couple of years, but this is uh, this is this was my song for a long time. Okay, so he does know my line. So let me think now. Okay, he knows my line, and I, I know this is not as simple as just winning. So you know what? I'm gonna get very aggressive with G5 G4 maybe. I don't know if it's good, but I'm gonna get very aggressive here. Thank you to Lateki for the 29 months. Okay, he goes 92. I'm just going to fling my pawns up the board at him. Because I can always take the knight here, I think. It's not even a hype song. It's just like, a, it's just a generic song. It's like a motivational song. That's what it is. I can just take the juicer. I think I do just take. Because D4 I just take. I mean, maybe it's castling, but it's very risky to castle into everything here. Okay, so I go E4. I go knight E5. So now he doesn't have a pawn push. And I have knight E3 next move. No, this, is, this song is not a motivational song. But I, but I was saying my current song. It's just like a motivational, inspirational song. This is really, really bad for white. No development. This bishop is stuck, so then the rook is stuck too. Village later? No, 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 not, not today. My opponent, meanwhile, is just deep in the tank here. Not really sure what he's doing. Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, I'm just gonna keep storming the uh, the king side here, basically. Wesley, uh, I mean, what play re seven? 
I mean... Yeah, my opponent's king is... Okay, I'm just going to kick the bishop back. I'm just going to keep rolling the juicers down the board. I mean, it's just... He has no development. This bishop is so bad. It just it can't get in, so the rook is just stuck. I'm, I'm even going to gambit a pawn here just to further prove the point. So now he gets a pawn, but like his whole king side is collapsing here. He gets his bishop out, but I think it's too late. I'm going to go here, maybe. I didn't actually play this so well, but I, I still will win. I guess I'll take the pawn and go knight d2. Um, let's go here. Just take the bishop. Okay, let's keep going queen after queen h3 here. Okay, I'll, I'll do this again, although, again, at some point, people are going to... Oh, we're playing V. Pranav, our, our favorite friend. Okay, um, okay. Okay, let's see. So, I've won every game. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay, I think I'm going to take here. Okay, I'm going to go here. So this is very dangerous. Okay, he goes to F4, which I think is actually a very good move, if I recall. I'm going to go here to, to free my queen up so I can swing across the board. Let's go queen B3. Oh, as far as ads go also, you guys, uh, sorry, but I am contractually obligated to run ads, so I do from time to time have to run ads. Uh, apologies for that, but I, I sometimes have to run ads. Let's go here. I think if I get my king castle to queen side, I'm probably okay here. Then <laughs> don't sign the contract. Yes. Turn down a very large contract because I am not going to run ads. I don't know if I cal. I think I'm going to get castle queen side. I don't know if it's right. I guess I go queen c4. I want to trade the queens here, maybe. Okay, let's go here. Knight b5, maybe knight e4. I gave him a pawn here. It's not wonderful. I'm going to go here and rook g1, maybe, and take the pawn. Thank you, Matt. I'm filtered for the gifted sub. When is the 100 subs to community? Um... I gifted 100 yesterday when we crossed 980,000 on YouTube. Um, I'll gift another 100 when we cross 990. And um, I will then gift, of course, 500, uh, which is $2,500 when we cross, uh, when we cross, um, when we cross uh, 1 million. Let's see. What, where are we at? One second. Okay, so he does take. Okay, I've actually won here, which looks like a good move. Doesn't look right though somehow. Maybe knight c5 is right. I guess I I can take this pawn. I can also take this um take this bishop. My instinct tells me that I should take the bishop and probably go like queen e4. This, I I have two two uh two awesome ops. And just drop back. Maybe I misplayed this though. Because queen d4, interesting. I think I'll go here, force him to trade. He's got a lot of pawns. This is the only issue I have here. Doesn't. Tr oh, he's got d5 now. Nice move. Ooh, this could be very bad for me. Let's go here. This could actually be very bad. Let's go here. 
This is not good. Just sidestep. This actually is quite bad. Quite bad for me. Plays Rook A, which I think is a slightly strange move. So I'll go here, try to reroute. Okay, I have Bishop E3, though. I think I can go here and C3, maybe. It goes Queen B5. This has not worked out very well for me at all, in fact. Um, just go here. Takes. I think I have to take this way, even though I really don't want to take with a C pawn. Let's go here. Just queen. I'll go here. I'm definitely losing if he plays this correctly. But I think he's kind of starting to go wrong. Maybe wrong is the wrong way of putting it. Okay, but now I take. Let's go here. Let's go here. So now I have queen b7. Wait. I check. Did he miss this? Wait, I check. Wait, he's just getting mated. Wait, wait, if he goes here, I check, he goes back, I check, and then I mate him. It's the same. He missed queen c8. Thank you to super arms for the two, die pro for the two, guitar for the tier one, d's knights for the tier one. Thank you to d's knights for the tier one. Appreciate it. He was completely winning there. He misplayed it. He was completely winning.